Hey guys, in this one, I wanna go through the absolute best apps and ways and methods that you can transfer files between iOS and Android, Android and Android, iOS and iOS, and pretty much anything you like. There are a lot of options here, and it's enough to cover everyone's needs. Before we get into everything, this video is brought to you by Amazon Deals. Check out the latest Amazon Deals and discounts in the description below, and also NordVPN. A VPN is essential, and I always use them. Big discounts at NordVPN. Again, check out that link in the description below to go through and sign up to Nord. So the first stop, if you have an iPhone or an iOS device and you wanna transfer images, files, or videos to another iOS device, is to use AirDrop. AirDrop is by far the fastest, the most convenient way that you can transfer anything from one iOS to another. The problem with transferring through AirDrop is that if you have a really high quality video file, like a 4K video file, when you AirDrop that, it may actually be reduced in terms of its size, which means that the quality may be reduced. So just to keep that in mind, if you want the absolute highest quality, you might still have to actually use a wire and plug it into your MacBook. But for most applications, AirDrop is the fastest way. If you have Android phones and you wanna to transfer to another Android phone, then Android Share is available now on most Android phones and it's the AirDrop equivalent for Android. Just go into your notification panel, so swipe down from the top and Android Share should be in there and it's gonna use a very similar technology. Basically link up the two phones and you can transfer anything. You can also, for example, if you're trying to transfer photos, just click on the Share option and Android Share should be an option in there as well. If you have a Xiaomi, Vivo, or Oppo phone, you can actually transfer using Android Share for those phones. So they actually came up with a different protocol and it may be called Oppo Share or Xiaomi Share or Vivo Share on those phones. But if you have those three brands, there is a separate system for that as well. So you can look out for it. How do you transfer files and images and videos cross-platform though? So if you have an iPhone and you wanna transfer to an Android or vice versa, how can we do that? Firstly, you can either use WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or another messenger and your files, especially images and videos may actually just be reduced in quality, but this is the fastest way to get images and videos from one operating system to another. The downside though is that the file sizes are very small and as I said, image and video quality may be reduced. Email is the next best way though, so you can just email yourself an image file as an attachment or a video file. The downside of Gmail as an example is that the maximum file size for an email is 25 megabytes. This is gonna be great if you have a few images or a small video file or any other types of file. Compatibility is very good if you're using Gmail. You can open those files on a Mac or a Windows PC. Once you open the email, you can really easily download it. So no issues there, but you have a size limit. So moving on to Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox, any of the cloud services. So I've gone with Google Drive because it's free, most people have this, but OneDrive is pretty much the same. Dropbox, I think, is paid option, but if you have that, this is gonna work. I actually use this option the most. It works for me and my workflow. So I use uh, an Android phone. I actually edit on a MacBook Pro. So I need to get a lot of images and screen records and videos from an Android device to my MacBook Pro. And there's just no way that I can transfer those files. On my Android device, of course, I have Google Drive. So you can go into the image or video file, share that, and then there's an option in there to upload to Drive. And I'm logged in on that account, so it's really easy. It's quite fast to go up to the Drive. And then on my MacBook Pro, I just use Chrome. When the file is uploaded, it will be there for me, and then I can just download it. So I have to upload it and download it, but it's actually quite quick. Now, the downside here is that if you have really massive files, this isn't gonna work because you're gonna have to upload to the cloud, gonna use Wi-Fi, and it's not the quickest if you have massive files. But for most applications, images, and small videos, this is the best way that I've found that I can get pretty much any file from any OS onto another OS. If you have larger files though, this is gonna be slow, as I said. So you may wanna use a different type of service. So the first one is Send Anywhere. This is an app that you can download if you have smartphones. You can also use this in a browser too if you need to transfer files from a smartphone onto a computer. Send Anywhere gives you a six digit key that you can use for 10 minutes. So the receiving party can use the key or if you're in the same room, if you have two phones, you can actually scan the QR code on one of the phones, bring up the file transfer and it's gonna use instant transfer to transfer those files between the two devices. 
If you can't transfer in real time, so you're not in the same room and you wanna to transfer to someone else across the world, then you can do that. You can give them a transfer link. They can use that link for 48 hours. So you can upload that to the cloud. The other person can download it from that app or website on a browser. Although if you are trying to send very large files, I think there are some limits. You can upgrade to Pro though. So if you pay for a Pro, obviously those limits will be reduced. The size of the file that you can send will also be increased. So you can send up to a 10 gigabyte file. If you go for the ultra high-end premium version, you can send a 50 gigabyte file. Send Anywhere is used a lot and it's kind of the Google Drive uh, workaround, but obviously not Google Drive if the other person maybe doesn't have it. WeTransfer is another one, and as far as I know, you can't actually get an app for this. I've looked around and you have to use a browser, but not the end of the world, but you can get it on your phone, your computer. With WeTransfer, you can send files up to two gigabytes. You just input your email and then the email of the person that you wanna send and upload your file to. You then send an email with the attachment on there. They click the link and it goes through to a separate page where they can actually download the file. If you do pay for the pro version, you can send files up to 20 gigabytes in size. That's a big file. And then you can set expiry times. So maybe you wanna send it and have that available for like a day. Lots of people can download it and view it. And then after a day, it will just be deleted. Another option is share it. And I used to like this app a lot. I used to use it a lot. I feel like recently it's just been plagued by ads on iphone and android there are a ton of ads but it will create a new wi-fi connection with a password that you input and connect to on the other device and then it will use the wi-fi to actually move the data from one smartphone to another so you can actually send quite a big file from one to the other and it's going to be pretty quick and not have to go up into the cloud and then back down again the cons of this one, as I said, is the ads. It, it's just really ad heavy. And to be honest, the hotspot Wi-Fi is sometimes it, kind of annoying to use. You have to log in uh, and then log on to the Wi-Fi connection, put the password in, and then sometimes it doesn't really connect. So it's kind of a hit and miss. I've used it in the past. It's been good. And sometimes it's been frustrating. Zender is just another type of share it app. So it uses exactly the same technology, but Zender, fewer ads overall and a simpler interface. I like the layout of Zender as well because it gives you all of the different file formats, videos, images, all in different categories. So you know exactly what is where. It's the same technology as share it. So you just link up a Wi-Fi connection between two devices and then just share any file that you want between them. If you're looking for a really pro solution and you're often transferring huge files from one place to another, then you might wanna actually go for a paid option like AnyTrans. So this is actually a bit of software that you put onto either your computer or your MacBook, and it's gonna allow you to transfer anything from your smartphone actually using a wire. Kind of old school with the wire, yes, but if you're transferring big files, this is going to be the fastest way to do it and to also not lose any of the quality of any of the video or image files. This is a paid bit of software, so it's not free, but you also don't get any ads and there is 100% cross-platform connectivity. So I used it with an iPhone onto my Mac. I've used it with Android phones onto my Mac. It basically opens up the smartphone into all of its folders. So you can flip through all of your images, your videos, your files in there one by one, and you can just actually transfer them cross-platform onto your computer. Because you've got the wire in there, it's faster than anything with Wi-Fi. Also make sure to check out today's Amazon deals in the description and get your VPN at NordVPN discounts in the description below. Check out that link as well. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.